Welcome to Meekum Auctions, home of the world's largest car collector auctions. I'm Danny Hoyt with Motor Trend, and I'm incredibly excited to introduce you to a very special vehicle today. Meet the Kendall Custom. This 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500 Resto Mod was commissioned by Kendall Motor Oil and built from the ground up by Thompson Street Customs out of Denver, Colorado. I'm also joined by someone very special, a representative from Kendall Motor Oil who's been a part of this build from the very beginning. You may recognize him from the Titanium Garage YouTube series where he was updating us on this build all along the way. He's an expert commentator on Meekum's Car Collector Auction telecast. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Stevens. Danny, it is such a pleasure to be here. This has been quite a project, but this day we've been waiting for for quite a while, and I think it's been well worth the wait. I mean, you've been a part of this from inception to now, and this is your first time seeing it. Can I get your first reaction? Ah, just stunning, just breathtaking. And you know, the last time I saw this car, it was bare metal. So I haven't even seen it in paint. But this red that I like to call Kendall Red, Kendall Red. just brings the entire automobile to life. It's just spectacular. Well, there's a lot of details I want to get into about the car. But before we do, I want to understand the why the mission behind why Kendall Motor Oil chose to build a 67 Shelby, how they chose Thompson Street Customs as their build partners, and no pun intended, what drove us to today? The Mustang is probably the most popular pony car ever built, and I think just on sales alone, I think that pretty much substantiates it. The Shelby Mustang gave these cars a whole new degree of performance, so when you put the name Shelby with a Mustang, you know it's something special. And the 67, it's the first year for the redesign. Remember, the first generation Mustangs, the first couple of years, kind of boxy. Then in 67, they became much more sleek, so it was a natural to choose this for the project. Resto mods are very hot right now. A lot of High-end builds similar to this one are being done all over the country. We see them come to auction, and uh, everybody loves them. The Kendall people, they felt what better way to promote Kendall motor oil than with a car that has performance, it has appearance, uh, it has a classic look, while it has a contemporary flavor as well. So put it all together, you get the Kendall Custom. Can we start here at the front at the grill? This is one of the challenges that the folks at Thompson Street Customs had. They wanted to retain the classic look of this car and yet make it distinctive, make it more aggressive, and I think they nailed it. A couple of things I want to point out. Three air intakes. You've got two, one on each side. That's for what's under the hood that we'll see later. And of course, this is beautiful. This is from QC Billet, and it's a beautiful hand-fabricated billet piece with the Kendall logo right in the middle. Now, Bill, I want to move along the side here, and as we do, I don't want to miss anything or any special details, so can you point out notable features? And I have one request. Can we start with these wheels? Because look at these wheels. Look at these wheels is right. These are one-offs. They are race line called Monterey textured gray wheels with polished fins and lines. 18 inches in the front for diameter. They're 20 inch wheels in the back. And these super low profile Toyo tires really give this car a low and mean stance. Just a perfect job of matching the wheel and tire combination with the rest of the car. I'm looking at these lines along here. They did it all custom. Tell me about these lines and how they came about. Yeah, what they did is they cleaned up the side of the car. And I gotta mention that this is a Dynacorn 67 Mustang body. This is not a Ford Mustang that they took out of a salvage yard and decided to rebuild it. This is an aftermarket body. What they did on this is they completely smoothed the side of the car. Notice no chrome door handles like an original Mustang would have. It's got these flush door handles that once again, really give it that smooth, sleek look along the side. And the little body kit along the rocker panels and the quarter panels, it just ties everything together. What was the thinking behind how they constructed the rear of this vehicle? Well, you know, you've got a 1967 Mustang and it's important to really maintain the classic flavor of the car. Yet there are ways with clever design to do little things that really bring the car into the 21st century, if you will. For instance, the billet taillight surrounds here, just beautifully created and really set off the back of the car. And you'll notice there's no chrome bumper, anything like that. They tied the pan together, even hand fabricated this beautiful. I saw this. Yeah, that duck spoiler is really trick right there on the trunk lid. And underneath, look at the size of those exhaust pipes, twin X pipes. It looks like you could park another Mustang inside one of those. Yeah, those are massive. And we're going to get to hear those in just a little bit. Oh, we're going to. All right, now, Bill, I could talk about the details on the outside of this car all day long, but I'm starting to get glimpses of the inside. Can we move over and talk about the inside a bit? Do you want better? Why don't you get in? I'm not going to argue with you. Oh, wow. How's that feel? 
I mean, first thing I notice is how comfortable these seats are. Is this something I can get or is this custom as well? You're sitting in these beautifully upholstered leather and suede seats. Notice the red stitching around the dashboard that was all a hand stitch, a lot of man hours there. And the digital gauges there from Dakota, one-off steering wheel you'll notice. There's not another one like that in the world on a chrome custom tilt steering column. Uh, it's got vintage air. You'll be comfortable in the summertime and the interior lighting. See the switch on the console there closest to you? Hit yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Lights up those JL Audio speakers. Yep, little mood lighting there. And those speakers, yeah, are hooked to a Kenwood high-end sound system with a touchscreen. My goodness. Well, speaking of hearing things, the next thing I want to hear is the engine. I want to see what's pushing this beast. Can we check out under the hood? Oh, get ready. All right, first of all, how do you even pop a hood like this? And you know, we talked about the billet on this car. Would you believe that you open the hood with billet releases? One on each side, just push that button there. All right. And lift up. How about that? Now, Bill, I'm, I'm looking here, and to the untrained eye, I know I watched Titanium Garage. I know you guys were putting an engine in, at first, that was underneath 500 horsepower. But where'd you end up? Because I'm looking here, this is bigger than I thought. You're looking at a couple of Garrett G25 660 turbos. So now from 460 horsepower to, you wanna take a guess? Can I go above 1,000? Please do. 1,100? 12. 100 oh, horsepower. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And you know, this Coyote engine, that is a really great engine uh, right out of the box. Uh, it's got all the right pieces, aluminum block, aluminum heads, double overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. But along with the power, remember when I said a pro touring car is built, it needs the cosmetics that go along with right. it. Look at the hand formed engine shroud here that covers the engine. And also these valve cover covers that go over the original valve covers with the Kendall logo. Oh, this is the way that high-end resto mods and pro touring cars are done now. The it's absolutely stunning. I have one more question for you. Are we allowed to hear it? We'd better be, man. We've waited long enough. <laughs> You've waited a long time to hear this. I think you should do the honors. You don't have to ask twice. feel? I'm tingling in places I've never tingled before. <laughs> Can you imagine what it would be like to get in this car and just go cruise? Well, you know what Kendall says, you get out what you put in, so I'm going to put you in the passenger seat and let's go. Well, I'm not going to argue with you there. For the folks at home that want to check out the Kendall Custom, it's coming to select Meekum Auctions and Events through 2021 in your area, thanks to the folks at Kendall Motor Oil and to Bill Stevens. But for now, we got to go cruise.